So you want to be alpha? You want to be a Chad? You want to be Sigma as fuck? Shit your pants in public. All these glow up videos out there, they won't level you up like putting yourself in such a stinky situation. And bro, it's the most freeing thing you can do on the planet Earth. Now, I know, I know, you're probably sitting there thinking, Ugh, brother, ugh. But listen, when I was younger, I went to the playground and one day this old man came up to me and whispered in my ear, kid, you've got only three poopy in your pants stories in your life. Now, I've unfortunately had all three and I'm 26, but what are you gonna do about it? And no, I don't mean pooping as a baby. I mean code brown diarrhea alarms ringing in that weak asshole of yours. And you're still walking from school surrounded by everyone. What do you do? Well, this is where the boys become men. You either do it like a little bitch, running away with the doo-doo trail following you like you got shot in the stomach, or you do it the Sigma route. Just walking and shitting like it's going out of style. Let me tell you a story. When I was in fourth grade, I shot myself inside my classroom. I know, I know, embarrassing. But don't blame me, man. The teacher wouldn't let me leave the classroom. Eh, you should have gone during your break time. Bitch, I'm busting now. I'm gonna fucking shit myself. It's not my fault my mom packed me a cottage cheese sandwich. Your boy's lactose intolerant. I remember the look she gave me, that bitch. Like an yeah. anime villain. Roy, put your hand down. You aren't going anywhere. I felt like that cunt Naruto. That the bio. So it's like that. I look at the clock and I was like, I can do this. I can make it. I took a breath and relaxed my stomach. I was about to reach Nirvana with the amount of Zen and chakra that was oozing through my body. Now my first mistake, I let that fucker breathe. I had to man, I felt like my intestines were gonna explode. But when that valve opened, it didn't close completely. And again, you can't blame me. Me and Derry, we ain't good friends. Like dude, Columbus sailed across the ocean without knowing if he would ever return. What's a little fart gonna do? Kill me? Anyway, so I farted. I felt like it was a little peep squeak and my goodness, was it a fucking behemoth. I destroyed my undies. Bruh. To this day, I don't remember if I made a noise when I shut myself or if I had a silencer on that hole. All I remember is the ringing in my ear like I was in the starting scene of Saving Private Ryan. Immediately, when I snapped out of what just happened, I hear, Ew, what the fuck is that smell? And then everyone all together, Ew, that's putrid, what the fuck? But this is where I became a man where I learned the most important lesson in life, where I decided to be Sigma 15 years before it was even a thing. This is where I learned about the five stages of shitting yourself in public. Stage one, denial. Imagine 12 year old Roy sitting there with the absolute disbelief that he just shat himself in class. Immediately, the ringing in my ears was starting to die down. I didn't know what to do, so I started denying I even smelt it. I was like, I don't smell nothing. Bro, I literally started pretend sniffing like a fucking dog, but that strat was not working out, so I straight hid that shit. I was like, ew, what the fuck? I literally started opening windows like, guys, we need some fresh air. Let's get some fresh air. When everyone ran for the air, if I was near that window, they would straight run away from me. I felt like my life was flashing before my eyes. I was in slow motion. Like I could see the matrix, but I wasn't awake just yet. I was Neo pre-red pill. I then got to stage two, anger. Bro, I was so angry at myself. I started blaming other kids for the smell. Bro, it's you. Then I would stand near them to hit them with like damage over time debuff. And yeah, this didn't work, so I moved on. Stage three, bargaining. The teacher pulled me aside. She looked at me and she was like, yo, it's definitely you. She was still smiling like a fucking villain. Maybe go check where that smell is coming from. I was like, sure, teach, I'll check. I went to the bathroom, took my pants off, and there it was. I was cleaning myself up as quickly as I could because I knew that that smell would maybe still stay in the room by the time I came back. I was calculating the physics of gaseous diffusion at 12 because I shut myself in the classroom. That's growth. I remember literally spreading my cheeks in the sink and washing myself like a bidet. Like, bro! It was so bad. Imagine if someone walked in like, oh, embarrassing, embarrassing. I go back to class. Everyone was still in panic, which was perfect. It was like I never left. I go to the teacher and lie to her. I was like, yeah, I had something in my shoe. I cleaned it off. Like, what was I thinking? She knew it. I knew it. The whole fucking class knew it. But then... Stage four, depression. Man, I sat back down. I thought everyone was gonna call me poopy boy during lunchtime. I thought my career was gone. I thought I had to move schools. Man, I thought I even had to move districts if the story got out about poopy boy. But then I remembered 
something I watch during my usual cartoon and cereal routine in the morning. Wait, actually, I just realized the full cream milk was what also did me in. Double fucking damage. Anyway, if you don't like your destiny, don't accept it. Naruto. Stage five, acceptance. When I snapped out of being a little bitch about the whole ordeal, I realized that accepting what happened was the only way to move on. Everyone knew it. I was the one who shat himself. When it came time for lunch, I owned up to that shit like a boss. Yeah, I did. So, I had to shit. I had to show teach that I'm that boy. And you know what happened? I gained respect. Nobody ever made fun of me. Nobody ever bullied me. And that's the lesson to this story. When you are faced with shitty situations in life, you accept them for what they are. You learn, you grow, you get better. You, you, you fucking, you do what you need to survive. And that's why I'm prescribing this method to you. Go out there and shit yourself in public is just a mnemonic way of remembering this. I don't actually want you to go and shit yourself in public, although that would be pretty fucking based. I want you to instead do hard, man, even impossible things in your life. And only then will you level the fuck up. For me, impossible. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you let your boy hit it from the back.